Neil Kinnock. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, does the, uh, does the Prime Minister agree with the statement that the proposals put forward by the Chancellor last night are a very useful intermediate step towards a single European currency, which is the view and indeed the words of the Governor of the Bank of England? Not quite uh, what my right honourable friend, the Chancellor, said. I thought it was, that is not quite what my right honourable friend, the Chancellor, said in a most excellent and constructive speech, which I welcome as both building on the present position going forward in an evolutionary way and bearing in mind that many other countries may wish to join the community not making it more difficult to do so it does not mean that we approve of a single European currency it says specifically that we do not it provides for a common European currency which each country may use if they wish to do so. It does not therefore take away from our sovereignty in any way. It provides a way of trying to get inflation down by reference to a hard echo. I was not quite sure from what the right honourable gentleman said, whether he'd read the speech or if he'd read it, whether he'd understood it. Can I... Mr. Speaker. By all means, I read the speech. I wonder if the Chancellor explained to the Right Honourable Lady that if the idea that he put forward were to be accepted with uh, the European Monetary Fund and the hard AQ, that it would be the final surrender of monetary sovereignty by Britain as Sterling moved into the hard AQ. Does she take that into account in the view that she expresses about what the Chancellor said? But that speech and that proposal is precisely so that we do not, in fact, surrender control over our own monetary policy. Of course, we wish to use monetary policy in a way that gets inflation down. It does not surrender control over that policy. I'm grateful to the Right Honourable Lady, and these are important matters. So is she saying, in the responses that she's made thus far, that when the Governor of the Bank of England says to the House of Lords yesterday that a European monetary fund and a hard AQ would, and I quote him precisely, be a very useful intermediate step between the existing EC currencies and a single EC currency that the Governor is wrong in the opinion of the Prime Minister. I suggest my the right honourable gentleman reads more carefully the speech of my right honourable friend the Chancellor. My right honourable friend the Chancellor, which is proposing building on the existing EQ of which uh, the city has in fact already issued securities denominated in EQ, building on the existing EQ to have a hard EQ which could become a common European currency available for countries to use if they so chose. It retains the choice, it retains sterling.